When it rains, it pours. And sometimes that can mean a lot of sales, and that's a good thing. Sometimes it means slow sales. And sadly, sometimes it means no sales, a big zero. Yes, like many other resellers, we have zero day sales. It does happen, and it seems to be happening even more lately. eBay is slowing down. It is. So it's not raining money right now. In fact, the irony of doing this video today is that Facebook decided to remind me that three years ago, it wasn't just raining, it was serious flooding in our area. Thanks Facebook for reminding me of that wonderful day. The day we had some water coming in our basement area, our storage area. Not good. I'm not sure I needed that reminder. Obviously, I didn't share that one on Facebook. But I do want to talk to you about sales. When I share our sales, I'm running several weeks behind. So it might look like sales are great, and they were several weeks ago. But like you might be experiencing, they're slowing down. They just are. It is February. And you know, sales have always slowed down on eBay. As long as I've been doing eBay, sales slow down. And we always hear the same reasons. They're getting their credit card bills from Christmas. They're preparing for tax season. It's February. It's a holiday. It was Valentine's Day this month. There's so many excuses and reasons why eBay is slowing down. And of course, the economy and everything else going on in the world today. But a week ago, almost every YouTuber was putting out videos on slow eBay sales. But I did want to be open with you and tell you that our sales are slowing down too. This channel is about staying positive and sharing the upside of reselling and sharing what we find and what we've sold to help you be able to do the same thing too. And staying positive even when it might seem hard to do. Simple sales for good profit. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Thanks for joining us. Today is a what sold video. So let's get started. You will see in this video that all of my sales are plus shipping. So I'm going to stop saying plus shipping. I found this wall pocket at the Goodwill and as soon as I saw it, I knew it would sell even though it was unbranded. It's ceramic, it's off-white, it's a wall pocket planter, and I use the keyword, what's the keyword of the year, or for several years now, farmhouse. I also described it as shabby style chic. Shabby chic is copywritten, so don't use those two words together, but you can use shabby style chic. Paid $2.99 for this planter at Goodwill, and it sold for full asking price of $40. This little glass dish featuring a little deer on top is an estate sale find. I've had it for quite a while. It was 50% off day at the estate sale, so I paid a couple of dollars for it. It's made by Jeanette, Jeanette Glass, and it's a powder dish sold for full asking price of $24.99. We were at the Goodwill, and I found these little mouse prints and one bunny print. As soon as I saw these little mouse prints, they looked familiar to me. And you can see it's dated 1990, Jarecki. I don't know how many different ones there are here. I assume that they're all a mouse print. Uh, the frames need some cleaning. $4.99 for five, $1.99 for one. Yeah, let's do some research on those. The artist is Ellen Jarecki. I set this up as a listing with variations and one of them sold for $14.95 plus shipping. Oh, and one of them sold for $14.95. I'm always picking up metal easels. They could be for plates or for bowls. This one has a shabby, distressed look to it, quite ornate. I probably paid a dollar or two at a garage sale and it sold for $14.95. I picked up a lot of lighthouse figurines last summer. I don't know why. I guess because I found some at garage sales for about a dollar each. I found a whole bunch of them at Goodwill and I thought I'd try them. This is a 1996 Lefton lighthouse and it sold on sale for $13.05. Occasionally we pick up planters, and this is a pink mid-century modern style, not necessarily mid-century modern age. It's probably 1980s little planter, but with that look of mid-century modern. It's dated 1996, made in USA. The company is Hager Pottery. Probably paid $2 for it, and it sold for $23. This little red basket is a church rummage sale find. It was actually full of flowers and I didn't want the flowers, so I took them out and left them behind. 
Is that a bad thing to do? Leave behind the part you don't want to buy? I didn't pay more than a dollar or two, and it sold for full asking price of $24.99. This is Mark's find, and it was a great find. Oh, this is one of my finds from the ReStore last week. It's uh, actually from a local potter over in Bristol, Reagan Pottery. It sold in less than 24 hours. I really like the piece. I kind of hate to see it go. It is beautiful. They actually take real leaves and trace them out on the clay and uh, cut each individual leaf to uh, form the bowl. How much did you pay for it at Restore? I think it was $5. I almost wanted to keep it too. I did want to keep it, but we listed it and I can't believe it sold that fast. It's beautiful. Say goodbye. Bye. It's handmade stoneware pottery. We paid $5 at the Restore and it sold on offer for $30. Mark found his find at the ReStore in Johnson City, and this is one of my favorite finds recently at the ReStore in Kingsport. As soon as I saw it, I just thought it had potential. Mark paid $5 and I paid $5 for this one. It was 12 and a quarter inches tall in a beautiful ivory color with gold metallic highlights and embossed with a leaf pattern. And I'm going to insert here a little tip on how I filled the void. You know how I like to fill the void in my pack and ship videos? I have a couple of options for filling this. I could use packing paper or <laughs> yes, sometimes I use styrofoam peanuts and I have found that an old shoe box makes a great scoop. So let's see if I can get these in here. No, they're going to go all over the place. A shoe box works for filling boxes better than it does an oval object. How about some press and seal to keep it inside? Not sponsored by press and seal. Might be the best thing to try to keep this inside. Yeah. This worked out pretty good. So that's my tip. Some press and seal was perfect for keeping the styrofoam peanuts inside. Paid $5 at the ReStore and it sold for $32. This is a tiny little four and a quarter inch little boy made from celluloid plastic. And he had sleepy eyes. I got this at a garage sale for a couple of dollars. The last thing I look at is not how it is sold for $20. This snowman head made from plastic, it seemed to be incomplete, like there was something missing, like it should have been attached to something. I probably didn't pay more than a couple of dollars and it sold on offer for $25.46. This is a Goodwill find. Okay, let's see if we can find something with that 15% off coupons. Mark, what do you have here? Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean Jack Sparrow. Oh my gosh, I gotta back up to show you how tall he is. You're in my way, boy. The code is below. Not Captain Jack Sparrow like I have in the title. Kathy, one of our subscribers, pointed out to us that this is actually the father of Jack Sparrow. So I had to do a little research. This is Captain Edward Teague. But it sold anyway. Whoever bought it knew what it was. Paid $5.99 at the Goodwill and it sold for $50. That was a nice flip. Christmas items are still selling. As you know, they sell all year long. This is a 1987 Inesco, Inesco brand, little Santa and Mrs. Claus salt and pepper shakers. Can't remember where I bought them. Sure, I didn't pay more than a couple of dollars. And they sold for full asking price of $26.95. Another Christmas item, this vintage Hazel Atlas Tom and Jerry little Christmas mug, probably for eggnog if you like eggnog. Didn't sell for a lot, but I decided to put it in here. It sold for $9.95 plus shipping. I found this three piece lot of wood candlesticks. They look like they were handcrafted, probably came from a craft show at some point. Paid $3 and they sold for $19. I bought these two angels. They were made in Japan, made from paper mache. I bought them from a friend. And I think I paid anywhere from six to eight dollars, but they did sell on offer for thirty dollars. I just showed you this little guy in a recent package ship video for Smalls. The company was Ukago, made in Japan. Cute little Santa with lots of faux fur. Can't remember where I bought him. Probably church rummage sale. Probably paid about a dollar. He sold on offer for fifteen dollars. Do you remember Kay's sale from last year? Kay meaning the lady who had the garage sale slash estate sale where I got to shop her basement for things. I bought this lot of children's silverware there, actually made from aluminum. I have a couple of dollars into them and the lot sold on offer for $20.
Now this was a bargain at the Goodwill, paid 99 cents. Can you believe they still had something there for 99 cents? Oh, I see, he's playing football. I just found this stocking, Go Santa. It looks like a, you know, a kit, craft project, a sequins, and it's a little football player, 99 cents. I don't buy many stockings, but I'm going to get that one. Bought it after Christmas, just bought it recently. Paid 99 cents and it sold for $25. Whenever you see an even number or a very odd number, that implies it sold either on sale or on offer. This little flocked reindeer was also in a recent pack and ship video for Smalls. Just a little plastic made in Hong Kong deer, very tiny. Probably paid 50 cents at a garage sale and he sold on offer for $12. A small sale is still sale. I have a tendency to pick up jewelry at church sales, garage sales, and I typically don't buy one piece. No, not me. I typically buy the entire lot. I never spend a whole lot, maybe $20, $30, maybe $40 once in a while, and I'll just buy all the jewelry. It's probably the case with these earrings. I probably have 10 to 25 cents into them, and they sold for $11.95 plus shipping. I'm trying to break that habit of saying plus shipping, but I think it's important to know that I didn't eat the cost of the shipping. Another pair of earrings that I probably have 25 to 50 cents into. Vintage French Zarzulas? Zarzule? Zarzula? I don't know. But they are made in Paris. I probably should have gotten more, but they sold for $20. I remember buying this bright yellow jacket. It was new, new with tag. Bought it at a garage sale for $5. I was happy that it sold at $40. Another piece of jewelry from a garage sale. Again, didn't pay more than about 25 cents. Sterling silver, it is marked 925. The body of the butterfly is an amethyst and it sold for $20. I picked up this Rolodex because it was new, new in box. I find these at Goodwill and I find them at the Resource, so I'm not sure where I bought this one, but I probably paid about $3. As I said, it's brand new Rolodex rotary business card file and it sold for $22.50. If you're enjoying this video, we appreciate a thumbs up and keep watching. There's more. I spotted this little bell right away when we went into the restore. You know, I always like to check out the office supply rack. I'm typically looking for ink cartridges, but I saw this little hand painted strawberry bell, front desk bell. I wish I could ring it for you right now. Oh wait, maybe I can. Okay. Men office supplies saw this cute little vintage hand painted bell. I know I don't need smalls, but that's a cute little small for 50 cents. It's worth at least $14.95. All right, probably have to get it. I paid only 50 cents for it. I was very pleased when it sold for $21.21. It must have been on sale. This Metrocane Mighty OJ Juicer. We have sold two of these now. So if you find these and they're in good condition, be willing to clean them up and list them. We paid about $1.25 at a garage sale when you average out everything we bought that day. And it sold for full asking price of $34.94. We sold a white one too, but that was a while back. But these do sell at a decent price. This little desk lamp is an estate sale find. It's a vintage or mid-century modern Tenzer number 5975. Has an articulating arm and it worked. It's always a good thing. Paid $5 at a state sale and it sold on offer for $25. I cannot remember where we found this clock and it really had a lot of style. We just couldn't get it to work. So we listed it for parts only. But the brand is Innsbruck. Probably only paid $2 for it. So as you see in the title, we put four parts as is. It sold on offer for $15. These two coffee cups were a recent find at the ReStore, the ReStore down in Johnson City, Tennessee. I think they've got something here with these coffee mugs. They're really pretty. Two dollars each. Pier One. As soon as I saw Pier One on the bottom of them, I knew I had to look them up. And there's three of them, but I'm only going to buy two. They have a Christmas winter scene. They are hand-painted stoneware. Paid four dollars this time, two dollars a cup, which was pretty high for the ReStore. They're normally fifty cents but they did sell an offer for $30. These glasses are a church rummage sale find. They are made by Arco Rock, Arco Rock USA this time, because a lot of times we sell things Arco Rock France. 
Just little five ounce juice glasses, paid about $1.50, and they sold for $24.97. Another Goodwill find found a lot, yes, a lot of these dishes. We were about to leave the store when I saw these dishes with this apple print. These are Franciscan. They have a set of 28 pieces for $8.99. We won't know till we get them home if they're scratched up or not. But we're gonna pick these up and I'll show you why. They are vintage interpaste Franciscan earthenware with an apple pattern. Paid $8.99 for all the dishes at Goodwill. And so far we've sold one serving bowl for $14 and the other serving bowl for $14. And we still have more to sell. What did I just say about Arca Rock? The six count of Arca Rock, France, glass, berry, or dessert bowls, little fruit bowls with a scalloped edge. I think we got these at the Goodwill, probably paid about $3.99. And they sold for $23.95. Wanda, if you're watching this video, Wanda being one of our friends that we see at the Goodwill, this is from your garage sale when I bought several of your Fiesta mugs. You know, I've always wondered, did you find these at the Goodwill and put them in your garage sale? I've always wondered about that. You'll have to let me know. We sold the pink one a while back, now the yellow one sold. I'm pretty certain we paid $2 each, and the yellow one sold for $9.95. And this is just a small Corning Pyrex cranberry color, small nesting bowl. Probably got it at a garage sale. Probably paid 50 cents to a dollar. I can't remember but it sold for $14.97. This is a Blanco glass water jug with a double pour spout. I paid $2.99 at the Goodwill. Didn't get as much for it as I would have liked. However, it was clear the ones with color go for a lot more and it sold for $20. Now you know I love these wood measuring cup and spoon holders. This one was a double decker. It was quite tall, in fact, 15 inches. They're typically unbranded. You do want to make sure that they sit level. You do want to make sure that all the hooks are there. And obviously it's great if you have measuring spoons and cups to put with it. If you don't, like this one, it didn't have measuring cups or spoons, but it still sold. It was a Goodwill find, paid $3.99. And even though it didn't have the measuring cups or spoons or anything, just the stand, it did sell for full asking price of $34.95. I cannot remember where I found these iced teaspoons, but the brand is RSVP. They're stainless steel. The pattern is Wimberly. Knowing me, I didn't pay more than a couple of dollars, and they sold on offer for $20. Vintage plastic cups, coffee cups, or mugs. Why did I buy these? Because they say Aladdin on the bottom. They're 1960s vintage Aladdin insulated coffee mugs or cups something that you would probably take camping. This is the second time that I found and sold these little camping mugs. I paid a dollar at a church sale, and while they didn't sell for a lot, they sold for $14.95. They're very lightweight, easy to pack, and I guess it just brings back memories when I find these from my childhood days of camping, and I like finding them and selling them. Are these cups something familiar to you? About a month ago, Mark and I made a trip to the Goodwill down in Elizabethton, Tennessee. It was a brand new Goodwill. The store was mostly clothing, as to be expected, I guess, for Goodwill. Didn't have nearly as many hard goods as we had hoped, but we found a few things. We found these Lennox China Stone Country Holly Christmas Made in USA plates. And actually, we found some other things too in the lot. This lot of four bread plates cost us $2.34 when you average everything out. They sold really fast for full asking price of $49.95. That was a nice flip. And we still have bowls to sell. So when you find Lennox dishes, be sure to check your comps because it might be worth setting up small lots because that was pretty nice. $2.34 to $40. And if you don't know, I have pack and ship videos on how to ship plates and many, many other fragile things. This is a vintage set of green glass salt and pepper shakers. Now you would probably think that these would glow with a black light, but they don't. They don't. Not everything that looks like this glows. This set did not contain uranium, just green glass. Paid a couple of dollars, and the set sold for $14. These glasses are Goodwill fine. Well, Mark might have found our pick for today. What do you have there? They're a clear-footed, glass. I don't know if this would be considered for water or 
wine. Be a nice size glass of wine. Yeah, be a nice size glass of Ice wine. Ice tea, maybe. There's, uh, there's a wine there's size. There's the swallow, the yeah. wine size. Can you see the etching? Yeah, I do. On the base. Yeah, this is a set of three, three. of the larger for $2.99. And they are etched on the bottom plus Oh, oh yeah, my gosh. Paid oh, yeah. okay, $2.99 for all three. They are Fostoria Gray Cutting number 835 with a pine pattern. They are cut crystal. They are flared, footed, iced tea, glasses, 13 ounce, six and an eighth inch high. How did I get all those keywords? How did I know? Yes, when we were in Goodwill, we did Google images. But I also have this book for Fostoria Stemware. But I found these glasses in the book. And because of that, I was able to pick up other keywords that I could use in the title that some resellers were not using. So it's always nice to have some reference books on hand. I'm enjoying them. Sometimes on Sundays, I'll take an hour and just peruse my books to refresh my memory on what I've got here. And for those of you who saw the video where I bought up most of these books at an estate sale, I have about $3 each into the books. Oh, I didn't tell you what they sold for. Paid $2.99 at Goodwill in the lot of three. Sold for $31.45. At an estate sale last year, we found a whole bunch of Bakelite flatware, forks, knives, things like that. Even fondue forks. I am pretty sure that these are Bakelite handles on these utensils. The irony is there's different colors. There's red, green, tan. I'm going to have to check these out. I decided to break them into lots by color. This is the Bakelite butterscotch or yellow set. I did put as is in the tile because they weren't in great condition. I have about five dollars into the 10 count lot. I would have liked to have sold them for more but they did sell an offer for $25 but I still have the red and the green to sell and I have $17 total invested so I'll let you know when those lots sell. Another goodwill find. Here's something different. These are cookie molds. Madeline, I guess is how you say it. I can't find any branding on it. And they're a little dented on the sides, but I think there are five of them here for $3.99. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get these. These were featured in the video when Mark and I shopped the Goodwill for seven days straight. I think the title on the thumbnail says Trolling Goodwill. Anyway, they sold for $40 plus shipping. <gasps> I said plus shipping. And our best find in this video from a church rummage sale last summer. Okay, let's go see what we can find. It's way in the back here, not too far. I don't know if I can video inside or not, we'll see. That's where we're going, right over there. I found for a dollar. Clear glass with gold or gilded rims. No branding whatsoever. Pretty good shape. It's hard to tell until you take them apart. Take them up to the front and have them take them apart for you. Of course, I tried my Google images. Still wasn't sure what brand, but decided to buy them anyway. We paid $4 for 17 plates. Listed them in lots of two, with a discount if you bought more than one lot of two. So the first lot sold for $19.96. Again, one lot of two plates. But here's the thing, one buyer bought all of the lots. In other words, they bought eight lots, two plates each, or 16 plates. And I'm like, whoa, what have I done here? I have to pack and ship 16 glass dinner plates. And these were not light dinner plates. Oh no, they weren't light at all. Every single one was over a pound. I do have a pack and ship video that's going to be coming out on how we pack these plates. Mark and I had to put a lot of thought into the packaging because it was going to be an oversized box and very, very heavy. So be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see that video. It'll be coming out probably within a month. Anyway, as I said, this was our biggest sale in this What Sold video. 16 plates sold four plates, well 17. We did include the 17th plate just in case anything broke, but nothing broke. And I do want to say that this sale went to a party center in California. They sold for $199.60 plus shipping. Yes, plus shipping. And shipping was over $100. So that was a great sale, a little bit intimidating, 
a little bit because of the quantity and the weight, but we got it done and I'll try to get that pack and ship video out within the next month. Something that I would like for you to start doing when you watch our what sold videos. Of course, I love for you to comment on anything that you saw in the video that struck a chord or something that's new to you, you know, if you learned something. But I would also like for you to share in your comment your personal find, your recent find, what it is, where you found it, what you paid, what it sold for. No links, please, no links, but share with the other subscribers, the other people that read the comments, your best recent sale. Please share that in your comment today and going forward in our What Sold videos. If you enjoyed today's What Sold video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment. Just like you enjoy reading comments from your buyers, we enjoy reading comments from you. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue and Mark and I will see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.